Yeah, this building, our own office, embodies many of the ideas that we developed in our, our work. What we believe is that you should reduce the energy consumption down to almost nothing first before you think about the most appropriate renewables to add at a wider scale. Keeping sustainability at the heart of what you do is a challenge, but it's something we've always felt is important, so we've always done that. From here you can see the old stone walls that were just a ruin when we took it over and which we've repaired. On top of them, uh, we built a brand new timber construction built using local materials, insulated with recycled newspaper insulation. The building has a natural ventilation system uh, where we have low-level slot windows and high-level opening lights, which allows warm air to rise and be drawn out of the building. We replace it with cooler air from outside. The boilers worked really well, totally automatically, comes on and off, does all our heating hot water, uh, and all using local wood chips. From the inside, you can see the really good effect this uh, clistery lighting slot has in giving a very good spread of daylight throughout the office. For us, it's been a great opportunity to experience what it's like working uh, in a building that has those features in it. I do enjoy working in here. It's really a um, nice place to work, light and airy and function as well. Sustainability is integrated into everything we do in the building from first principles. We're actually trying to create buildings that use less energy. The design, shape, orientation, form and fabric of the building are all working together to save energy. Our current target in our new buildings is to achieve savings over UK building regs of 80 to 90 percent. The school's been designed as very energy efficient. Um, we're using super insulated walls, super insulated roofs, drip glazing, and we're using biomass boilers. I've worked on 15, 20 schools in the last five years and this is a, a flagship job for the company. From a, a timber frame point of view, a window point of view, a timber roof shingle point of view, the whole package is a real benefit and I'm sure it's a way forward for future schemes. At the heart of our approach is a really deep commitment and a passion to collaborative design where we work with the users. The space is just amazing, the light is just amazing. Let's have a look, what have we got here, what can you see? Are the metal things from bikes? Yeah, the metal things are there so that we can encourage more children to come to school on their bikes because what will that help us to do? Well, the, reducing carbon emissions. Carbon emissions, that's right. We really enjoyed the, the consultation process on, uh, on St Luke's um, involving all the kids and teachers. Oh, lights and chandeliers. In the end we're creating really sort of healthy and inspiring buildings. And your classroom is going to be one of these. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. Better than the classroom that you've got now? Yeah. And tell me what else. Is it lighter? Bigger windows. Are they lovely? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it yeah. For us. The energy demands should be less than a quarter of a typical school building. If it gets too warm in this room, what we can do is we can open this panel because it's, it's got vents, so it lets some air in. Have a feel. You can feel it's, it's so nice. What have we got under the floor? Heating. The heat will come up through the floor. Why do you think the building's been designed with lots of windows? To, to let more light, light in. To let more light, light in. Light. Don't we, need to put the lights on. we don't need to put the lights on all the time. So we, we, what we we do in saving? Electricity. I think it's important about a sustainable school because obviously what we can do is we can use it within the curriculum. Is it exciting to see inside your new school for the first time? Yeah. yeah. What's going to be your favourite thing, do you think? I don't know. Lots of stuff, all of it promote different aspects of sustainable energy. It's something we've never kept to ourselves, we've always felt passionate about. Yeah.